Now to an update to a story we've been following. A Walworth County deputy is making progress after enduring serious injuries when an out of control driver hit him in August. Prosecutors say that driver was not supposed to be behind the wheel in the first place. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez has newly released video of the incident. This is the aftermath of a crash that sent Walworth County deputy Wayne Blanchard to the hospital. Show me your hands out the window, do it now! Authorities say on Sunday, August 1st, they were attempting to stop a driver traveling well over the Lake Geneva speed limit. They say it was clear the person behind the wheel was under the influence and increasing his speed to 100 miles per hour. Deputy Blanchard was attempting to use stop sticks behind a guardrail on Highway 120 north of Kniep Road in the town of Spring Prairie. The driver lost control, causing injuries to his passenger and to Deputy Blanchard. Turn the vehicle off with your right hand, right hand only. Go run back and check on him. I got this. The driver, identified as 25-year-old Tony Perales of Racine, was charged with first-degree reckless injury, fleeing and eluding an officer causing great harm, operating a vehicle without a license causing great bodily harm, and bail jumping. You just injured another police officer. All airbags in his vehicle were deployed. Yes, you did. Your actions caused that. Deputy Blanchard's family previously told Fox 6 they were grateful for the love and community support. Most of all, they felt blessed that Deputy Blanchard was alive. A GoFundMe for him raised just over $60,000. In a statement, the sheriff says in part, I thank the entire community for the ongoing support and expressions of caring for your local first responders. Deputy Blanchard is continually achieving medical progress, and we are all very proud of his courage and determination. The suspect in this case pled not guilty. His last court appearance was in early October. Efforts to reach his attorney for comment on his case were unsuccessful. Reporting outside the Walworth County Law Enforcement Center, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News.